Hey, what's up guys? It's a uh, Artbook Addiction here, and we're here with a new Artbook review. So today, we're gonna be looking at Halfway There by Pascal Campagnon, right? Um, you know, he's a pretty big artist, uh, especially on Instagram. I've seen, you know, you, you've probably seen his stuff here and there. Um, I did a review of his other book, right? I can't remember what the title was, but you know, um, he, he is a great, great digital artist. I think I, I really love his stuff. Um, there, like, he doesn't do anything too complex, too crazy, but his compositions are really good and his color choice is awesome, dude. Okay. Um, yeah, really, really love his stuff. He is, you know, like I said, pretty big. You should probably, you've probably seen his stuff here and there, but if you have it, you know, welcome, dude, because his stuff is just great. And, you know, this is a book that's, I guess, a little bit earlier in his career than the one that I did before. So, you know, we'll get to see a little bit of his earlier work, right? Um, but before we start the video, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, check out my Princeton Patreon if you want to support the channel, and consider becoming a channel member if you also want to support the channel. Um, but with all that said, let's get into it. Okay, so as always, let's uh, check out the cover real quick, right? Before we get into it, because we don't know if this piece will be inside of the art book. Um, yeah, this is this is nice. I really enjoy this kind of like moonlighting look, right? You know, um, it's crazy because like, you know, at night it never looks quite like this, but you know, in our brains, this is how we kind of see things. You know what I mean? Um, moonlit nights are never this bright, you know, this, the, the, the darkness is like much more intense um, But it feels just right, you know, like blue that kind of like blue Lighting, you know what I mean? And everything has this this nice kind of blue overtone um, Yeah, I, I I love it. You know what I mean? It looks so nice uh, I see it a lot in, in like paintings, uh, like especially like the the older paintings um, from like Dean Cornwell, uh, Harvey Dunn. You know what I mean? I guess just art in general, right? Um, but I've always enjoyed this kind of like bluish, kind of greenish, a little bit lighting, right? Always connotates night, but you could always punch up the values, and it still kind of looks natural, right? Anyway, so let's get into this. Pascal. Is that a real signature? I don't know. Could be. Hmm. Yeah. W when it comes to markers, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh yeah, no, it's real. That's 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 cool. Here we go. To you always. Yep, here we know we have like a little little slice of the piece, right? Not not the full thing. Yeah. Okay. Pascal is a very um or yeah, yeah. He's a very um wholesome artist. He likes the wholesome shit. Okay, so so expect some wholesome imagery, you know what I mean? There we go. We have this these uh these guys hanging out by the, uh, hanging out by the, 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 I guess, I was gonna say lake, but I was like, hmm, there's, it, ah, oh, whatever, it's a lake, who gives a shit, you know, I, I, I don't know why I always try to, like, complicate things with, like, the, the correct term, but fuck it. Yeah, well, you can see right here that he has this, um, when he does line stuff, it's more of, like, this kind of, like, very loose line, right? And then he he adds this little bit of little splashes of color here and there. You know, kind of I don't know, just like a like a simple storybook kind of illustration. That's nice. There we go. Oh, you can see this couple like kind of like ooh flying away. You know, like oh we're gonna have a, a wonderful night, dude. And right here, you can see the the. The man and the woman, you know, on the city street, giving that look like, "Hey, looking pretty good." Yeah, you can see right here in the city, like, uh, they, I, I saw that the 
that they're mentioning SF right here, and I'm like, I'm like, I recognized it. I was like, yeah, this is definitely SF right here, dude. Those cloudy streets, man. Nice. It always looks better in art, okay? In real life, shithole, dude. Riding on the highway. T -t -t -t. Okay. So I know Pascal, because um, I read his previous book, he talks about riding his bike everywhere, right? And all I got to say is, um, are you one of those guys, dude? You know, are you a bike rider guy? Because, uh, you know, I, like, when I'm driving around, dude, some of the worst people, dude, are bikes. And I'm like, dude, don't you understand that you're not a vehicle? You know? And they're like, like, oh, you got to treat me like a vehicle, dude. I got wheels. You know? And I'm like, I'm like, you're not, like, you're not a vehicle, dude. If someone hits, like, motorcycles are, like, already bad enough. But a bicycle, I see, dude. I've seen people with one wheels, you know, like the, the the hoverboards on the on the road, okay. And I'm like, you're retarded, dude. That's fucking stupid, okay. Like you're just asking to get seriously hurt or injured, and then when someone does something, you're like, like, hey, how dare you? And it's like, you should not be on the street, dude, okay. Like, even the bicycle lane is, like, you know, it's still iffy. Because, like, sometimes, like, like oh, whoa, whoa, this, you know, it's, I don't know. Uh, like, like if you're going to be on the street, drive a goddamn car, dude. Okay? Like, I, I don't know. Like, that, it's annoying, you know? Like, I don't want to have to worry so hard about your safety. Like, like it's, you know, I don't want to, like, nobody wants to kill someone. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, f fuck my own safety, dude. I'm going to just ride a bike, dude. You know? And it's like, like, why? Why, dude? Why put yourself at risk and... Why, like, why involve someone else in your in the possibility of your injury? You know what I mean? Because, like, there's stupid drivers, too. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, so it's, you can't, there's too much chaos, dude, in that. Okay, so. Enough of my, enough of my, uh, my, uh, why do bicyclers bike on the road rant. Here we go. So we have catnap. Ooh, this is cute. You see, maybe this, there's like a window here, or, or like someone opened a door and like, oh, look, 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 Here we go, so we have um, some kids at play, and they're all like, wow, ooh, I'm gonna do a cartwheel, I'm gonna jump, you know, it's just whimsical, right? It's just a nice a whimsical image, and you can see, like, he, like the way he does his, uh, his, uh, like, kind of, like, forest background, it feels very nice, I really enjoy that. Because when you're, when you're drawing, like, nature... Um, a lot of times it's, it's better to just have more and like, like, and have implied stuff. So it feels like more dense than it actually is. Right. Very nice. We have this woman on a, on a little, nice little, uh, road again. And then boom, she gets hit, dude. Okay. Damn. But yeah, we have this nice woman. She's riding on this, on this, on this nice road right here. And you have this nice counter, like counterplay between the background, which which is this nice like afternoon bright yellow, and then the shadows of the trees, right? And then you get this nice like yellow versus green, and that's just great, man. That's just great. Sorry, my cat is being annoying. Go away, girl. I'm trying to record. Hey. Okay. Um, some more wholesome imagery. We got this nice, uh, kind of like cloudy day, you know, in the in the forest, 
right? But we got a we got a man and a son, okay? I'm sure is Pascal and his child, right? And they're like, yeah, well, I'm just gonna go in the woods, you know? Just have a little fun time, dude. Damn, dude. Yeah, nothing much. But, you, you know, like, like... You see how this feels better than, like, photo bash? You know what I mean? Like, just, just paint it, dude. Just fucking paint it. Just paint it simply. You know, or or and add like all the little all the little gubs that you want on top of that, right? You don't need to put a, a like a picture of a real tree in here, right? You don't need any of that. Like it's just because it, it, it distracts, right? But if you just paint everything, you just use brushes, it works, and it doesn't need to be that complicated. Let's see, we got a child. You know, he's like, oh, I'm sad, dude. I miss you, father. I'm here alone. And then, the, the well, we have the mom here. I didn't even notice her, dude. You know, that's cool. I like that composition. That, And then, you know. And the dog's like, I don't, I don't even know what's going on, dude. You know, I don't even, I don't even care, dude. Damn, dude. You can see mom over here with her with her robes, you know, like oh he's sad, dude. That makes me sad. Again, like I said, very wholesome imagery. You know, nothing nothing crazy. But you know what? Effective, right? We we need artists like this. Because you know what? I mean like like Don't we live in such an unwholesome fucking time, dude? You know what I mean? Some wholesome imagery is it's not it's not bad, dude. Sometimes being, just being is enough. <gasps> okay, now now we're getting a little, you know, a little saccharine, you know, a little. If I, sometimes I just need to exist, you know, it's like, it's like, all right, white girl, you know. <laughs> okay. Caught in the summer rains, ooh. Summer rains, you can never predict them. Yeah, dude, this feels nice. I like this. And that. And again, just, you know, hey, it's just it's just the, the family having a good time. You know, hey, you know. Nothing crazy, nothing uh, Lovecraftian or anything. You know, hey, it's like, oh, it's hot. Oh, the rain's come. Hey, you know, we, we didn't expect that. Yeah, we didn't expect it. <laughs> Oh, look at that. We got some, we got, we got a father and child, you know, and they're fishing and like, look, oh, wah, 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 and like all the ducks came. And they're like, hey, it's cute. You know, it's cute. You're cute, you know. And this nice, beautiful lighting, dude. This reminds me of the Thanos, um... Yeah, when he's like, what do you make the sacrifice? You know, like, what did it cost? Everything, you know. Adds a very um, ethereal element to this piece, which I, I, I enjoy that. I like that. And again, you know, just simply done. Nothing too crazy. Nothing, nothing like, like, like whoa, high fidelity technique. Or, you know, it's, it's like pretty flat overall in terms of... Uh, like render, you know, and I, I still like it, it's still good. It has a nice feel to it. Fresh from the oven, okay. She opens the, hey, look at that, we got, we got a, I think she's got like a, some kind of pie going on right there, or some kind of cake. I don't know. Maybe a pineapple upside down cake. But like I said, dude, hey, just hey, just family moments, okay? Just cute little moments, dude. And there's nothing wrong with that. I like the I like that the lighting is so like focused in the center, you know what I mean? And it's a like overall like center composition. 
Very nice. Catching some Z's. Okay, we got a, we got a mother, the child. Okay, the little dog. All right, little. They're, they're always having a nap, dude. You know. It's that kind of like 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 three three o'clock to like four th three to five. You know, it was like, ah, I'm kind of sleepy, dude. I'm gonna just knock the fuck out, dude. Cute. Here we go. Legacies. Okay. So here we have uh, all the the Marvels. Okay, like we, the Avengers. Okay. And we have the the dad with the lightsaber. Oh, you know, and it's like it's all these like different toys and stuff. And it's like um, I don't know. It's like like you know when you're a kid and you have all these different toys. But you know, dude, like kids don't even fucking kids don't play with toys now. Okay. They don't have the Hulk hands, you know what I mean? They have an iPad, right? So I feel like this is this is like a an idea from like him, you know what I mean? Of like the new generation, like, oh kids dude with the, this and that. And it's like they don't have action figures, they don't have toys, you know what I mean? You got the d digital now. Here we go. Time to rethink our sleep training strategy. Okay. You know, again, it's just kind of like a fun image, right? Because, because well, they're hanging off the fan, dude. He's like, he's like, these dang old kids, man. Okay, that that's me with my cats, dude. Okay, like, like they just don't stop. Except they're not like whimsical. You know, they're more just like, I'm hungry, and I'm noisy. Okay, look, I got like earlier, like like two like two minutes ago, I had two, I had two cats. Just stare me down, going like, like, you give me food or what? You know, and I'm like, I'm like, fuck you, dude. I already fed you. You know what I mean? You know, you know how they are. Like, if you, have, if you own a cat, you you know how it is, dude. Here we go. Welcome to my haunted house. You know, very spooky. You know, I. I miss Halloween, dude. Like, kids are supposed to get a little scared, you know what I mean? Like, like, oh, uh, uh, but there's there might be candy, you know? It's like it's it's like there's so much more fun than the other holiday, right? Like Christmas, it's you know it's fun, it's wholesome, you know, it's nice, like oh you you know, but like Halloween's like like hey, ew, I'm a trick you, hey I'm a, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna spook you a little bit, you know? It's, I, I don't like. That feels way more fun. There's like a, there's an element of like danger, you know what I mean, or, and like scary, right? And like I I, I don't know, like that, like I feel like that more is like infinitely more intriguing than just like like I love you, I give you a gift, you know, a wholesome, you know, it's like it's, yeah yeah like cool, you know, but like where's where's all the vampires, you know, where's all the like the pumpkin heads, you know, it's like you know what I mean. There's no, like, like, Christmas lore is, like, very flat. You know what I mean? But Halloween, like, you got, you got so much shit, dude. You know what I mean? And, like, they, it all, like, and the, the conglomeration of it adds to it, right? Like, you can see right here, you got, like, a, a bunch of references to shit, right? You got, like, Frankenstein. You got, like, I think this is the, the woman from uh, the Addams Family. We got some witches, you know? Like, like, why are all these things together? You know, it's just because it's spooky. You know what I mean? But it all works. It's cute though. I like it. Here we go. We have a that hill you would not be able to stand on. Okay. Not, not, not that this, it's like bad, you know what I mean? Compositionally, I like it, right? But like that hill, dude, you, 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 you would not want to stay on that shit. But yeah, we have this nice, um, kind of like night scene, you know, they're looking out into the, into the bay or into the city, you know, like, look at those lights out there, you know? Very wholesome image, right? 
I like the color. I like this kind of like, like greenish gray, you know, and then like into the yellow. It's very like Deus Ex, you know. Another rainy night in San Francisco. Yup. It rained there a lot. Not like, okay, like depends on the season, but like when it rains, fuck my life, dude. It rains, dude. You know, like this, I saw this, and this kind of reminded me of that. Like, I, I've, I've been seeing this new shit where they have like they like people do like this photo bash, and they do the AI paint over. Okay, and I gotta say, fuck that, dude. Okay, like, art should never ever be, like, like, oh, like I generated it. Okay, it should never be like a program. Okay. It should be by the hands of the artists, all right? And so people would be like, oh, but the tools, buh, 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 buh. that's why, like, it's, it's like, like, photo bashing is bad enough, okay? But now people are doing photo bash, and then it's like, I don't even want to paint it, dude. I don't even want to do a paint over myself, dude, okay? I would do an AI. And then it's like, and then it has, like, this kind of, like, weird, like, <laughs> effect to it. And I, I, it, it pisses me the fuck off, dude, okay? Because it requires no skill, dude. Okay, and like it's like and, and like I I see people get like a shit ton of likes on it, and I'm like, what the fuck, dude? That's painted by an AI, but nobody cares, you know? There's like, oh, it's it's just it's pretty, you know, right? But it lacks the substance, okay? It really does, and and like like AI, like oh, it's so annoying, like like, and then there's you know NFT AI bullshit, and I'm just like like, dude, AI shouldn't make art dude okay that's like it's like it's it's like it, you, you're breaking a sacred rule okay right and i'm just like i, I don't know like and like the you, when you look at it you're like you're like there's something off about it right if you look from far away it looks good but if you look closely you're like there's something there's something weird you know it's like it's like it feels alien in a way right not saying that this is this is obviously you know painted by hand but like i i just hate the fact that that's a thing you know like and then like it's it's like really popular too it's like whoa you it's so realistic dude how'd you do that and it's like oh i used i used photos and i used ai dude and it's like so what about the skill what about the did you learn that you know like would you be able to do it without the ai right no Okay, then, then you're trash, dude. Okay? Like, like... Just be your skill level. You know? Just be where you're at. Get better. Right? And then learn. You know what I mean? It's like, and then like, like... Because that's the artist's journey. Okay? The, the, the... It's like, it's like, you gotta make the climb yourself... And then there's like the people with the AI is like, oh, I'm just gonna use the elevator to go to the top, dude. You know? Did I did I know the struggles or anything? Did I like did I did I learn anything? No. I just I just get I get a picture of the city. I get a picture of the the face, and then I just do the AI and they're like and now look good. Okay, it's super easy. Okay, and I'm like, fuck you guys, dude. Fuck you guys, dude. Art should never be like factory made. Okay, I that's all I gotta say, dude. Okay? It has no heart. It has no soul. It just looks good. Okay, and people are like, oh, "Well, so impressed by it." It's like, it's like, you know, fuck you guys too, dude. All right. I don't know why I'm so aggressive today, but I, I just, I just remembered AI generated art, and I'm like, I'm like, 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 what an affront to every artist out there, dude. Okay, who works hard, who's who's going out there, and it's like, it's like, it's like a boxer. And then there's like, like, oh, well, I got a machine boxer, you know, like he punches harder than everyone because it's a machine, you know, it's like, it's like, like, did that, did that boxer have, have an, have an arc, dude, you know, did he struggle with his, like, like, there's nothing to, it's, he's a robot, okay, you know what I mean, like, there's no humanity in it, right.
disgusting, dude. Anyway, sorry. That's very unwholesome, okay? It doesn't match with the wholesome imagery going on right here. So, let's get back to that. <clears throat> I really like this, like, red lighting right here. That's really nice, okay? See, like, this red and orange tied with the blue. That's just a nice, like, um, palette right there. That's just a great palette, dude. I love that. So, because I'm doing, like, a similar painting, but, like, flipped, right? Where I have... Um, it's like overall like blue kind of green and then um, I have like like red like a very deep red as like the kind of like um, accent color right very very nice I like that I like this composition too this very, you know you know and it's it's very like L composition but also like you know diagonal like uh, and then you lead it right to the people dude right very nice Spring guess, okay. So we have a very, very like black and white scene. And we have this cat who's just like, oh, I'm just walking by, you know. This guy's like, oh, I wasn't expecting you. Hmm. So these are pretty cool. These are almost like, um, you know, those like cutout cards, right? Where it's like, um, or you know what it is like you know like you know those like boards where they like scrape away the thing you know what i mean it's kind of like that pretty cool imagery though i like it you know dad and his son looking at wait wait a minute wait a minute i know this image this is the one that's in the other book well i mean he probably made this before but you know what i mean like this is this is reused later i know that silhouette Auto reverse. Okay. Let's see. So it's just a guy, you know, he's laying down, you know, again, like that kind of like cut out imagery. That's nice. All right. Midnight 2015. Oh, I can't sleep, dude. It's raining too hard, dude. But you know what? Let's, let's look out. Let's take a look outside, dude what's up dude you know like you're you're away again dude and i miss you as it's, it's cloudy outside dude. it's depressing dude yeah dude that that is uh, the city is pretty like you know kind of like that dude that like like dude i was someone who didn't really like i i enjoyed having cloudy days but living in SF for, you know, for five years, like, made me appreciate color and, 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 and like, good lighting again, right? It's funny because it just got cloudy right now, but I'm, like, living in desaturated shit all the time is, like, it, it does play with your head, dude. It's, it is depressing, you know what I mean? Like, that's why Seattle has, like, like, the highest fucking suicide rate, dude. He was my best friend. Oh, dude, that's sad, dude. That's fucking sad, dude. When the dog dies, dude. Or your cat, dude. Damn, dude. Uh, you know what, dude? The perfect time for the clouds rolling. Now, now it's depressing, dude. You know, now it's sad. Wow. Yeah, see, the kid's a little bit older, so... I don't even want to think about it, dude. I don't even want to think about that shit, dude. My cat just broke his arm, so I'm like, I'm like, I don't even want to think about that shit, dude. Somewhere around Kansas City, okay. Oh, so we got a, we got a nice snow environment. You see, um, I know the sun comes back. You see right here that we got um, like the the father and the child. He's like, hey, look at that over there. Look, look at that. And they're like, he's like, oh. And then you're like, hmm? Human. Human. What are you doing? I like this. I like this. Um, this lighting and this uh, just overall 
feel of this, right? Because you got this nice counterplay between like the, the the coolness of the snow and the shadows and like this this warmth right here. It's like it's almost like a like a watercolor painting. That's beautiful. There we go. We have this kind of like tundra environment. You have this nice focal point with the with the red, right? Boop, and that's it. That's beautiful. And and then like a little bit of this kind of like brownish to kind of help balance it out a little bit. Here we go. We have this nice um snowy like like river city, I guess, right? Yeah, and, and like, you know, every and when you get things like this, it's like it's mostly flat, right? Kind of like a like a sepia tone look to it but you know like that like it feels real you know what i mean because like you know when you see snow like this when it blinks everything it kind of it kind of flattens everything a bit so that it's just um light dark light dark light dark light dark you know and it's it's, it's just nice you know what i mean yggdrasil okay so we got this mega tree and we have this i think this is like a like a lighthouse or something or some kind of like not a lighthouse like a lifeguards shack you know it you know what this reminds me of it reminds me of um that uh you know in in uh blade runner 2049 the the um the worm farm right Oh, this is cute. <clears throat> Again, see, we have this kind of like playful line, right? It's like, oh, you know, it's just like, it's not trying to be um, too, you know, detail oriented. You know, it's, I don't know, it's like, a, it has like a childlike quality to it, right? And we got these kids, you know, going, going under the ocean, having some fun, right? And... Oh, you can see right here from the top that it's just like a bathtub, right? But to them, it's like, whoa, dude, this infinite ocean, dude. You know what? What treasures, what lives beneath the deep, right? And it's just, it's fun, you know. Okay. Rooftop night. Okay, so this one's a little bit more shape based. I like that. You know, again, some just wholesome imagery, right? Looking at the stars. You know what's crazy about the stars? You, there's always more than you think, you know? Like, I was doing this painting with, like, with stars in it. Um, and what I found out is that, like, you want stars to be closer and farther right stars that are like like barely there and stars that are like like whoa right in your face right and you can notice that right here that there there's stars that are like lower opacity and there's stars that are higher opacity right so it feels like there's like this depth there that wouldn't wouldn't normally be there you know what i mean it's really cool here we go we have this kind of like cute little like, you know, it, it's very, um, what is it called? Wes Anderson, uh, like, 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 uh, apartment building right here. You know, it's, it's got that very, like, like, I lived in a square home, in a square by, uh, apartment that was like, that was three by two feet, you know, kind of, kind of shit. It would snow there, it would snow there often, but we lived happily. Nice. Is that a cat and a dog, or is that two cats? I think that's a cat and a dog, because dogs don't, the cats don't have that kind of ear. Cats got the sharp ears, right? Because they're a little, little, little prickly, you know? They're not, they're not, they're not soft like dogs, dude. Okay. Keeping it simple. 
Oh, this is cool. I like this blue with this kind of like against this warm kind of brown, right? Blue and brown, great combo, dude. Always good, dude. Guess this is good night. I guess it is, dude. I feel like this is like 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 um this is this is perfect bait for uh for Jason, you know what I mean? Right? Like two kids in in the middle of the woods, you know, and like, okay, I'm gonna leave now, and then like they like this guy bikes off, dude, and then boom dude, and she's fucking dead, dude. Alright. She's fucking dead. Let's see, after the rain. Or the rain, the, the after rain, okay. Yeah, so like the morning has come, you know, it's very like, it's a it's a bright new day, okay? But like the rain has, has come and gone, but it's still kind of that, that kind of cloudy, right? Very nice. Or maybe this is like sunset, I don't know. Cause this is like yellow and like, I, I very, I, I'm like sunrise very like blue, you know what I mean? So it could be like the sunset. So we got this nice uh, like frozen lake bed right here. We got this nice little cabin, that's cute. That's very cozy. You know, I've always enjoyed like the aesthetic of like, 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 oh, it's, it's snowy, it's cool, you know? And like, oh, we're inside and we're like, we're warm on this thing, right? Like, like visually, great, okay? In application, I hate that shit, okay? Honestly, I hate being cold, right? I used to love being cold, right? Until, until I lived uh, in SF and then I started, I, I hate the cold now, right? Um, uh, and a lot of it has to do with like my hand pain, right? Because it's kind of like, it's worse when it's cold, right? So I think that's like most of it, but like now I'm like, I'm like, yo, heat, baby. Like, I like the heat, right? Like, um, and, and like, it's just, like, I could be in the heat, you know what I mean? And I don't feel, like, like, and I'm like, I'll be sweaty, and it'll be like, ah, it's so hot, dude. And, you know, and, like, maybe it'll be humid, like, ah, it's so hot, humid, dude. But, like, I don't know, maybe because I'm Viet, right? Like, that's, like, our natural environment that's, like, it's like, oh, yeah, you know. You, you, you kind of just get used to it, and you're like, all right, I'm, it's gross. I'm, like, I'm gonna, like, blech, you know, but I hate being dry and cold okay i think dry and cold is actually for me worse now right which is which is funny because i i never had that perspective before right but having you know been in like those like you know different environments after like living in those kind of areas and like you know sf is not like super cold either so like there's, there's like worse places so like just being in that direction just worse man you know like and so i'm definitely a uh a, a, a hot guy you know what i mean like like you know i'm not it, it, you know i'm pretty i'm pretty hot you know and obviously i'm not right but um i'm like i like the heat right i love the heat i don't love the heat but like i prefer the heat okay i'll take a super hot day over a super cold day any day anyway so the long run Hey, these freaking cats, dude! I swear to God, every single day, every single day, these cats. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. Um, if you guys have cats, you understand. Like, especially when um, they're not like siblings, like they don't get along, dude. Okay, and oh my God, my cats fight every day all day and it's just it could be really annoying especially when they're like when one, of, when one of them has like a really annoying like like meow right like that's the girl dude she her meow is like she is so annoying dude all right so back to it so i guess this guy's going on a run right through the snow which uh i don't know if is advisable right but like I said, imagery-wise, very nice. You know, and his dog's having a good time. That's cool. 
You go lead by example. Okay, so we have the the Huom, right? And she's like, you know, I'm gonna go up this trail, dude, and I'm gonna, you know, like climb it up, dude. That's cute. You know, that's nice, nice imagery. Right. I like the composition. It's very like, you know, very um like you know, like a funnel. You know what I mean? That's cool. And the shape is repeated here, right? Awesome, dude. The composition is like so crazy. Like, like you can make it work in so many different ways. So it's like it's it's so wild to me when people have bad composition. It's like because there's like there's so many good compositions, right? But I guess if you look at too many good ones, you kind of you kind of like forget that there are bad ones and like I don't know. It's crazy, dude. Here we go. So it's a party, right? Let's see. I guess this is short enough, I can read it. The Parisian, Estelle, 2014. Why did you come? Come where? To the party I made for you. What party? It was a surprise party. Then why didn't you tell me? Why would I tell you it was a surprise? Damn, dude. Yeah, dude. I guess a party of one, you know, because I, I would assume that there'd be other people, right? Yeah. I mean, you could just, like, be like, like, um, hey, come head over, dude. You know what I mean? Then, like, the whole thing would be solved. Okay. Cafe Sans Liat. Okay. Sans Le. I don't know. French is very confusing. So we got this group of, of, of ladies right here. We got a, a nice uh, sh waiter boy, right? Hanging that menu off, okay. I'm just hanging out. There you go, bottom, ladies only, all right? It's ladies day out, okay? No no guys in, uh, involved, right? Except for the, the male waiters. Nope, that's ladies' night, dude. This woman seems very out of perspective, but you know, it, who at this point, who really cares? You know, it's it's the it's that type of image, right? Where perspective is not the most important thing. Though the these two women really seem out of perspective, but that's okay. We can forgive. So, let's see, I don't really, it's really hard to see what's in this image right here, but it's mostly, you know, in, in this like overall dark environment. See, this is how night is, right, in actuality. It's just like, oh, it's hard to see anything, but with, I guess with the light pollution, it makes everything hard to see, but um, here you could see this uh little back area right here i guess they're just chilling out looking at like you know it, off in the distance you can see the city lights right and then the the stars in the sky right it's, and, and it's beautiful you know it's crazy how like distance can change the way we look at things right very nice isn't that just the way it looks? You know what I mean? Like you don't we don't see all like the buildings and stuff, we just see like a sea of lights. Right, that's that's gorgeous. Okay. Would you love the beach, but you don't love the crowds, you know? Everyone is introvert now, okay? It's not just oh, I I I, I stay at home, you know, it's it's like no, I'm an introvert now, right? And I'm like I hate that we live in introvert world now, right? I'm like, like, I, I don't know. I, I don't consider myself an introvert, right? But I'm like, I have, but I'm like, I like staying at home, you know what I mean? But like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it, it but people are like, no, I, I stay at home, so I'm an introvert now, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like, uh, the glorification of introversy is like, is is not the same like i'm like it's caused people to be like oh dude i'm shy dude that's a good thing and i'm like no it's not 
learn how to socialize, dude. You know, being socially inept is not the same as being an introvert, dude. Yeah. But either way, it's a, it's a cute thing, right? Like, little beach scene at night, but honestly, uh, it would be freezing, you know? It would be, fr like, the beaches at night are, like, really, really cold. Okay. On the left, good, good night moon. And then over right here is 3.5 seconds, okay. Oh, look, we got a little smiley moon. Oh, that's cute. We got the, the angry sun from Mario and the, and the happy moon right here. That's cute. Yeah, you see what I mean? This is very, it's just like, you know, it's just, it's, it's a lot of cute imagery, right? I like that the composition is very like, you know, it's very bottom heavy. We get to see these nice long shadows, like, you know, it's, it's, it's just nice, dude. It's just pleasant, right? And I like that they, that uh, he did like this white and then you have like the kind of blue aura around it. Like that's, that's cool. That's gorgeous, dude. Wow. And it has this very, like, like I said, like, very, like, carefree feeling. You know, it's like, you know, it's like, hey, just have some fun, dude. Right? Just some nice, cute imagery. Same thing over here. We have a, a man and a whom, right? Um, doing a little, little lake diving, right? Which I find um, ridiculous, okay? Like, I would never ever do that shit dude it's not that i have a fear of heights or like um being able to jump that high uh, like which you know like part of it is like yes like definitely right but for me it's it's um i have, I have an ear problem with water right I, and i can't go that deep without water like rushing into my ears right um which is which is a real shame because i really enjoy swimming and like like snorkeling and like exploring the water like i don't know it just seems like a whole another like world to me right but i can't go deeper right which is really annoying you know because like because like i said my ear problem right and it's like ever since i was a kid so i have like this kind of like like natural urge to like you know avoid going deeper and avoid like um splashing down and i have i've, I've used earplugs but like they they're really uncomfortable, but like they sometimes they just don't help, right? And I don't know. Um, so overall, I just I just stay in the surface, right? And and I look downwards, you know. But I love the water. I love swimming. I love uh, ocean shit, right? I love snorkeling. Love fish. Okay. <clears throat> it's a new day, twenty sixteen. You wake up and you open the window, you're like, fucking Christ, dude. Another day, dude. This is very, uh, this, this, like, like, I feel like in here, it's like, it's like, you know, it has like a more hopeful context, but like in the, in the 2020 age, right? Now you're like, oh, fuck me, dude. Here we go again, dude. You know, out there again. Here we go, getting away for a moment. Okay, we're out. We're out in the in this like tundra area, right? Oh, and you have this kind of cool like um, impossible house that's like on the top of a tree, right? And that's you know like that's fun. It, it reminds me very like, very much of like Tim Burton, right? There's like this kind of like like impossible geometry kind of shit, or like 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 oh th this tree wouldn't be able to stand the way, but like who gives a shit, dude? You know. It's a, it's fantasy. Right? It's a little fun. Oh, dude, that that just gave me an idea. Like, what if they, like for a concept, right? Someone, anyone could use this. Like, what if there's like like a mansion on like the on like the tiniest like 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 tree, you know, like the skinniest like like fucking tree, and then you could see like a gi giant mansion on top, right? And and like it weighs down on a bit. Okay, so it's like it's like 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 it's like you can barely take it, but it does. Okay, right, and in a similar vein to this, you know what I mean, where you have to like climb up, but it's like 
You know what I mean? Like that that that's that's a fun concept right there. Okay. Go deep. Okay, so we got the the the, the man, the boy, and his dog, right? Playing the football. Okay, very very uh, American, right? Though uh, running through these uh, these uh, amber waves of green, that would be difficult, right? But again. I like the colors. I like the colors a lot because it's like this blue and it goes against this orange, and then you get these little hits of uh, of that orange light coming through. That's really nice. And see, something that he could have done is added some like blue shadows, right? Because um, when you when you hit that that light, that specific sunset orange, and it's like super orange, the shadows will be blue. Right, and that's just, I don't know, it's just a cool thing that, that happens, right, in nature. Edges, okay. So you can see right here that we got, like, this, uh, oh, this is kind of cool. This kind of, like, like 45 degree angle composition, right? Um, hmm. I was gonna call this, like, an L composition, but this is, like, like kind of like a, like, you know, like an A to the side, right? But there's a lot of these, like, you know, nice buildings. You know, very everything's very sharp, right? And that's cool, dude. I like the I like the color scheme too, right? And it all kind of just leads to the little couple right here. You know, just and then like right here, dude. That's some nice framing. And then like, you know, within the frame, it's another frame, right? And then there you go. That's cool, dude. The flower kiosk, okay. Who's selling the f who's selling flowers in the rain at night? Okay, you know what I mean? Like, it's cool. I like the idea, and it's cute. But who who does that? Right? Nobody. I I hope somebody will. will come by and buy my flowers when it's like pouring out you know it's like no but the idea is cute okay i i, I understand from a conceptual you know what i mean nice the sunbathers okay So we got a dog and a cat, and they, you know what, dude, they, like, animals, like, they just like being in the sun, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know why. Like, almost to, like, a, a kind of ridiculous degree, you know what I mean? Where it's like, they, they really enjoy, like, like, I like it hot, dude, you know? Right, I, I guess I kind of, I guess I feel the same way, right, but, um... I don't know, they always like, like, they always like to gravitate towards, like, like, the open window where it's, like, hot as shit, right? Um, maybe something natural, you know what I mean, that, like, we as humans don't really understand. I don't know. I guess, I guess because they have fur, so there's, like, kind of, like, insulation, because, like, got, like, humans, we get burned, right? And, like, you know, like, the sun is good, but I feel like in most cases, like, in a natural environment, you're looking for shade, Right, depending on how hot it is, right? <clears throat> yeah, sorry about all the noise, dude. There's like, you know how it is, dude. Like, there's always something going around to um to, to, to make some noise, dude. Honestly, I wish I wish I had some like soundproof studio where I could record shit, but you know, unfortunately, that's not the way things are. Especially at these housing prices, oh my god. Dude, like, honestly, like, how... How is a young person supposed to own a home now? Like, it's impossible, right? Like, even... Like, I bet, like, like even the people who are, like, you know, r more wealthy... Will look at the housing market and they're like, What the fuck is this, dude? You know, like, this is impossible, dude. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Random sketches. Okay, so we have this kind of, like... This little, uh... This little block right here. This is cute, yeah. 
for some reason it kind of reminds me of like France, you know, but like, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe it is. Another great Sunday is about to end. You know, again, very wholesome images, right? Uh, appealing in a way that's, uh, like, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's just cute. It's just fun, you know, and like, there's nothing like, it's just, it's, um, hmm, how do I describe it? Um, I guess like American apple pie, you know, like, hey, you can't, can't go wrong, dude. You know, it's, it's nice. It, it tastes good. It fills you up. It's feel good. It's a lot of, a lot of feel good art. You know what I mean? Okay, so we have uh, this nice little couple, right, with the little babu. That's very nice, dude. A little, little precious baby, dude. Like I said, dude, just really, really feel good art. This one I, I really like a lot. This, the colors and and the, the appeal right here is just, wow. It's just on point, man. That is just wonderful. You got all these birds and you know, like in this little little child right there. Come on, dude. What what's not there to like, dude? Let's see. So we got this horse and this this man giving this woman an apple, right? He's like, "You want to feed the horse?" Right? And we got the the, the kids in the back going like, "Oh, I want to I want to see the horse," you know. Very nice. So we have, let's see, early weekend, okay. Um, this looks like sunset. Like I said, it's very um, like orange. So I'm gonna say sunset. So I guess um, they're going they're going on the trail, you know, uh, like uh, uh, later on the day. So it's like you know, like you know, maybe like. Like Friday afternoon or some shit, you know what I mean? Kind of, kind of deal. Very nice. And it's just cute, dude. And I, again, I really like that lighting. You know, with this kind of like, this kind of like um, violet. You know, ultra ultramarine violet right there. Very nice. Yeah, and you know what, dude? You know what I really noticed about his work is that you like. There's always like a lot of shit. There's always like, like, like so much stuff going on. So there's like, there's um. I'm sure at some point he's just like, but you know, he's just kind of going, going at it, right? Which is, you know, kind of how nature is composed, right? It's just a lot of shit, right? There's like, if you look at a tree, there's like a hundred different little, you know, around. So, um. Obviously, you get the you get the main forms down, right, and then just on top, you just you know just just speckle, right, and it, it works. You know, it's a good technique. Yeah, you know, wet, 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 wet. Damn. Oh, so we got a mom right here, and we got the the kid who likes the Superman and the kid who likes Batman, right? And I'm like, I'm dude, come on, Batman, right? Honestly, do we live in a time? where Superman could ever be more popular, right? Like, everyone likes Batman, dude. Though they should, I, I feel like they should try to do, like, a Superman standalone movie, right? Like, and yes, the, there's the, there's the, uh, what's the name? Henry Cavill one, but, like, that one wasn't, like, Man of Steel, not very good, right? They, they should just make another one and try again. Here you go, Weathering the Storm. So we have a we have a man and his and his pup right here, and uh, you know they're just out on the porch, you know, like yeah, I just want to look at the rain, dude. Right? Though at the angle, I wish the rain is coming down. It's good. It's it should be hitting him, you know, because you know what I mean. But uh, still, it's a cute image. Okay. Strange picnic. 
Yo, is that a dragon, dude? Is that a dragon right there? I didn't I didn't even notice that. From far away, I just it was just like a guy and a woman in a field, right? But then psh, dragon, dude. Nice. TikTok, dude. Damn. You know TikTok, dude. I, I've been I've been trying it out, and it's just everyone is pseudo intellectual, right? Like I thought, like a lo I thought a lot of it would just be people dancing and you know being you know dumb, right? But now it's like it's dumb and like like oh here's a piece of information that like you know is gonna change your life, right? And it's like it's never like really life changing information, right? Or like. Like, it's like, for people who are like, what? Whoa, dude. You know, in reality, it's it's not. It's not that. It's not whoa. Okay. Here we go. We have the snow tree house. Okay. Again, kind of like impossible architecture right here. Um... We have this nice tree right here. We have this, uh, we got some like little little wood steps, okay. And uh, you know, it's cute, you know, it's cute. Who wouldn't want to live in that, right? Except for having to, like, see this house, that's that's okay. But like, imagine trying to get to this house. That would be annoying and, and in, in a way a little perilous, right? But it's cute. Um, so we got a massive bonfire right there. We got all the the homies hanging out, right? Just sitting by the beach, right? You know, got the got these uh, what do you call it? Palm trees in the back, right? And you know, kind of very like like loosely done. And you got this nice starry scene in the background. That's cool. Yeah, very cute. Everybody got a little smile on their face, right? That's, that's, you know, that's how it is, right? That's how it is with these books. Yeah, I like wholesome shit, but like, you know, it's almost to like a like a unrealistic degree. But you know, like, that's fun in its own right. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, it's it's like the, the beautiful moments in life, right? Not like, but like, you know, I don't know, I'm not a person who believes in just like, like, oh, every day could be like beautiful. It's like, it's not, dude, you know? Like most of the time it's ugly, right? And then sometimes it's really nice and like you know obviously that makes you appreciate the better moments but like some i feel like there's people who try to live every day as like like no it's, it's oh you know like you know you know wistfully like oh you know like every day could be beautiful and it's like no like it's not dude every day is like mostly kind of just bland right or like it's like it's 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 labor you know what i mean and then some days you know are like 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 wow that was a good day you know and sometimes like i feel like people try to like force a good day right and like that's kind of the wrong mentality you know what i mean um and i don't know like like it doesn't feel natural right you know i feel like if you're trying to force yourself to have a good time it's like it's it almost like it makes you feel like you're having a worse time you know what i mean So yeah, not to not to bring down the mood, but you know I gotta I gotta be, you know, self acknowledging like yeah, this this is a fantasy, right? These are all fantasies, you know what I mean? But that's the that's the beauty of art, right? It's not to embrace the realistic; it's to have that little bit of escapism, right? Which is like that's how that's how entertainment should be, right? It should be like you know like a, like leading you to a place that. Um, doesn't exist, right? And that's fine because it's a drawing. It's not a real thing. You know what I mean? But we can 
we could look at it and we could relate to it. You know what I mean? And that's that's the important part. Okay. So we have, let's see. It's a very like red image, but I like the I like the red transition into the yellow and then like into this kind of like violet color, right? And the and the colors work because um, there's that interplay between warm and cool, you know? So like there's the warm light and there's the cool shadows, right? And it, and it works, right? Because those two relationships um, are, are what make things feel natural, right? Because I feel like there's, you know, there's a lot of artists who don't realize the power of color temperature and the interplay between the two. And that's what makes things look natural, okay? Because everything has a temperature, okay? It's not everything is just like light and dark, right? There is the temperature that you need to take into factor. You bring the drinks, I bring my guitar. Yeah, we have a, again, very San Francisco scene, right? Where everyone's hanging out on the, uh, on the, uh, what do you call it? The, the fire escapes, which is um, illegal, by the way. Okay, if you guys didn't know. Um, and people, people do hang in on them, but like, um, in reality, it's, it's, it's kind of annoying for like other tenants, right? And other, you know, like other people in the building. It's, it's, it's cause like it, all the sound goes up the, the, the hallway or the, like, like if you're like in the small area, like goes up, right? So, uh, most in real life, most people don't hang on the fire escapes. And like, a, like a lot of times if you see people on the fire escapes, like people are going to call the cops on them, which is. You know, that's annoying in its own right, but, you know, um, it is technically illegal, right? So, don't, don't want to, don't want to romanticize the hanging out on fire escapes, right? The Good Days, 2017. Okay. So we got some people just like biking through the, oh, you know, I got this nice little reflection too. I don't know why, but I don't know why reflections are so nice, but you know, they, they really are. Like, I feel like a lot of times we're like, you know, you have an image and you're like, like, hmm, what could, what could be added here? And then you add like the water effect, right? And you're like, like there, boom. Now it looks like instantly like way better, right? Bonjour. So I got, I guess we got this um, Italian scene right here. And they're just hanging out. On the, on the, on the balcony, right? And you got some nice flower pots right here. And you could tell that it's Italy because they got this old, decrepit, kind of like clay colored wall, right? And then, you know, I don't know. That the imagery of it is always really nice, okay? And in reality, it's super fucking hot. You wouldn't want to be sitting out there, dude. I guess it depends on the season. In in the summer, like in Florence, dude, hot as shit, dude. Ridiculous. Finally, the weekend, okay? Okay. So you got a woman in a, in a bathtub. Okay, that's cute, right? Nice little, uh, nice little image. She's like, yeah, finally, dude. The weekend has arrived. Yeah, and, and you know, it's just cute. It's just cute. I like the colors too. Again, that 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 orange and the blue, right? This is almost like gray, right? But the but the orange makes it feel blue. And that's just gorgeous, dude. Okay, so the afternoon where we played video games. All right, so just like a little lazy Sunday, you know, and just playing some of that old, uh, some, some I guess Atari. Right, he's got a little Atari thing on his shirt. Um, 
I don't know what console that is. It's not really, it's just like a, a square box, you know, maybe like a PS2, right? Like, you know, like the slim, that's, that's, that's the only thing that kind of has that shape. Yeah. I don't know, could be anything. Could be just like ambiguous console, right? <laughs> Snow days are the best. All right. Yeah, you pillow fight. <laughs> you know. Again, uh, idyllic, right? I like that the outside has this uh, this blue, and then in here is the the nice like warm orange, right? Oh, did she swing it and like the pillow flew out, dude? That's funny, dude. Let's see. It's an artist block kind of day. <gasps> no. All right, guys, I'll be honest with you. I, I have never had artist block. I've never been like, I, I don't know what the idea is. Like, like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's never happened to me, right? Like, I'll, maybe I'll be like, like, hmm, I haven't had this idea, like, like, thought out through enough you know like hmm, and i'll think about it and then uh maybe i won't find it then but like may is that artist block you know what i mean but i've never had like i don't know what to create dude i don't know what to make you know i've never had that it's i, I don't really i don't really relate to artist block if anything it's quite the opposite where i have too many ideas i have too much shit i have like like a million paintings in my head and they kind of like honestly they kind of have to like fight it out to see like which ones like the best ones like you know rise to the top but like um i do remember like you know like most of them right and, and um like i don't know i've never had artist block even when i'm like designing characters or designing environments i've never had like no idea you know what i mean i don't know maybe maybe that's just a just a me thing but you know it's a cute image i like the the overall like you know frame and then inside the frame and these kind of like you know squared off right it's very satisfying you know <laughs> again very like wes anderson you know what i mean okay so you got them hanging out in the room you know and um got this little cat who came in like hey meow. you know that's cute that's adorable. <laughs> Sorry, my allergies are like, they're kind of going off right now. Oh, don't really know why. I'll probably take a, some medication really soon. Yeah, cute image. I like the lighting right here, very high key. Um, I like that red, that's beautiful. That's really nice. Gorgeous. All right. Wind powered. So we got the kids, you know, hanging out, and uh, we're, we're doing we're doing a little kite flying, you know. Oh, do you remember when kites were a thing? You know, like, do people still use kites? Like, I mean, like, you know. Like, like kids, right? You know, I've seen people who use like those crazy big kites, but I'm talking about like, you know, just kid, like, you know, kids like, hey, you know, you wanna, you wanna bust out the kite? You know what I mean? I feel like you don't really see that nowadays. Here we go. Feels like February. Cloudy day, but a little bit of love. You know, that's that's how it is, man. Sometimes the most romantic shit, dude, happens in the rain, dude. There you go. I like this one. It's got this, like, red right here, and then, like, a little bit of red in the sign, dude. That's beautiful. That's cute. Got this cool reflection, too. That's, that's badass, dude. <laughs>
strangers in the city, damn. Strangers in the night. Two lonely people, we were strangers in the night. Look at that. I like this this, <laughs> this one light that's just like, ew, like, like half of the building, yeah. It's cute. That's cute, dude. Days like this. <gasps> no. I'm just gonna my coffee. Bleh. And then. God. Hey, hey, what's wrong? Is something bad, man? I'm a sad man. I'm a cry man. <laughs> Here we go. Um, is this for being sad on the couch? You know, like, this book, dude. Oh, maybe she just finished the book and she was like, "Damn, dude." Yeah, you know, I I had that recently. You know, I was reading this book called uh, "Gates of Fire" by Stephen Pressfield, dude. Check it out, dude. All right, check that shit out. That was like, like, wow. Like, what a tale, dude. Here we go. Longings. <gasps> Strangers in the night. Yeah, you see, like, you know, they're out there going, like, I wonder who's out there. Is there someone for me? You know, and they're both, like, like but you're right next to each other, you know? Like, <laughs> but you're right there. You, you look down, you, you, I guess she shouldn't look up, but look down, dude, you know, you, you climb up, right? I don't know. That's funny. That's cute. The early hours, it's, like, it's the same concept right here, but... No, it's the same concept, like, literally. But, you know, it's cute. It's so cute. You got all these little lights. Just ch -ch 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 -ch, like, you know, who gives a shit? <laughs> Beautiful. The zone. Ooh. Flow state. I talked about it in, um... In one of my, uh... Artist Journey videos, man. Like... Flow state is the place to be, dude, okay? It's when you are communing with the divine, okay? People are like, the zone, and I'm like, I, I'm like, yes, but like, I feel like flow state is a much better term for it, you know? You know when you're in the zone, you know? And I'm like, I'm like, like, that's, it's too... That's too like flowery. You know what I mean? It's like you're like like flow state. It's like 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 you know, um, it's like oh you've you've you're you're in a different state of mind. You know, and you're like you 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 know you've you've reached some 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 kind of barrier. You know what I mean? The zone is like like you know, a specific place, right? And I guess I don't know, I don't know. It it just feels like because you like you know. You could be in the zone, like, with other things, right? And, and I guess I guess it works. I don't know. It's just... I prefer flow state any day of the week, dude. Than the zone, dude. You know? The zone is where, where stalkers are, okay? That's the real zone. Okay. Shadow Chernobyl, okay? Shadow Chernobyl, right? I'm not talking about uh, the other thing, right? I hate I hate that stalker is named stalker because when you ref, when you reference it, it's like like are you talking about like a like a stalker or are you talk about like like you know Russian shit you know like the, the Russian video game you know like or you it's a Ukrainian video game oh my god dude I forgot there's now now there's a difference dude let's see my after school program was always a little different than the other kids. I'm not like the other kids. I go out into the forest and I, you know, hang out with the birds, you know, whoa. 
Whoa, dude, you're not like the other ones, dude. You know? I like the colors here. That kind of like that pinkish, right? Against the cyan right here. That's gorgeous, dude. Pink and blue work really well. <laughs> and then over here, we have um, blue and orange, right? Again, another great combo, right? Another beautiful combo. Oh, and a little bit of green right there. That's 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 nice. That's gorgeous. I like the way he did the the shadows right here. How they kind of like just like disappear, you know? It has like that red outline. That's gorgeous. Pawn stories. Oh yo. <clears throat> yo, just me and the me and the ducks. Okay, just hanging out. Me and the Hmm. That's cute, dude. They're like the they're almost like little rubber ducks, you know. So we got some uh some bears, right? Catching some fish. He looks like this one got one. And out here we got like uh a murder of crows, you know. A huge thing of crows. You know that? You, did you guys know that? A murder of crows. That's a group of crows. That's a dude, kitty cat. What are you doing on the goddamn highway? Okay, that's scary, dude. I don't like that. I don't like kitties in danger. Okay. And cats are smarter than that. They, I, then again, I don't know. There's some dumbass cats, dude, that, that run across the street. But uh, across a highway? I don't know, man. You know? That's a whole nother level of stupid. You know what I mean? But then again, there are people who do this, too, so. I don't know. There's, maybe there's something about the highway, dude. They're like, you know what, dude? I think I can make it. And then they don't. You know, they're like fucking idiots, dude. Yeah, but I like the I like the colors though. That's that's beautiful. Very nice. The boys of summer. Oh shit. Yo. We got guy number one and guy number two with a long schlong. Oh shit, dude. You know what's gonna happen, dude. Okay, it's just boys being boys, dude. Okay. It's just guys being guys, you know? <laughs> he's like, yo. Nice cock, dude. You know, he's like, he's like, thanks, dude. Nice. Mr. Cambridge Pool. McCambridge Pool. I guess uh, she's a lifeguard. She's just like, you know, at the at the pool, like near sunset, you know? She's like, you know what, dude? <laughs> I'm gonna take a little dip, dip my little toesies, right? My little toysies. Damn. Walking on the beach at night. <clears throat> Again, a really nice composition where um, <clears throat> it's really blue, you know, and then like there's that that touch of red, you know what I mean? And then over here, this kind of like little touch of yellow to add some uh, some focal point. That's beautiful. Feels like spring to me. Oh, that's so cute. I really like this one right here. She's jumping on a log and she's like, you know, I'm a duck too. You know, the ducks are like, hey, you a duck too, you know? <laughs> you got little bunnies here. Come on, dude. What's, what's, what's there to hate about this, dude? That's cute. K 
catch. And the dog's like, rrr, rrr. yeah, damn. I like that they, the, the shadows have like this like pink to it. That's beautiful. Go. 1980 something. Okay, so we we going back. Okay, we we uh she got some like a retro outfit going on right here. But you know, it's cute. It's cute. Sorry, we're closed. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to skate. Oh damn. <clears throat> I'm listening to my Star Lord album. You know, this one seems very watercolor, like especially like right here. You know how it kind of like blurs out. Keeping it simple, a boy and his dog. Yeah, dude, this whole this whole art book is such like white girl art. You know, like 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 oh my god, you know. <laughs> Not saying that's a bad thing, you know. The the biggest purveyor of of art is by the the white woman, right? But goddamn, dude, if this isn't like some white girl art right here, dude, if this ain't some like like, I need something to inspire me today. <gasps> oh my god, those colors, that subject matter, it it's so deep. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, like. Like, 14-year-old, white girl deep, right? Dude, we got this really tall woman, okay? Big city, big woman. Okay, damn. Dude, she is, like, ridiculously tall, dude. Dude. A shout out to the tall girls out there, dude. Yeah. I ain't got no problem with no tall woman, dude. You know what I mean? What the fuck is that? Dude, today is, um... It's Friday the 13th, dude, and I am, like... Like, I'm a parent... Like, like okay, when it comes, to, like, you know... I'm not, like, a super superstitious guy, but when it comes to Friday the 13th, dude, like, I've seen some, like, wild shit happen, okay? Like, and so, like, whenever it happens, I'm like, okay, just be careful. And don't do anything too crazy, okay? Because you're, you're, you're just letting yourself, you're just putting yourself in the crossfires, you know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't know. Do you, do you guys feel that way? You know what I mean? Like, I... Like, I've had some, like, really wild, like, Friday the 13th experiences, dude. Like, oh my god. So, like, I believe in that shit, okay? Like, I'm like, I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Okay, cool. All right. I'm, d like, don't... I I'm like, I'm not gonna fuck with that shit, dude. You know what I mean? Let's see. 4.47 p.m.? Okay. Let's get late. Sun's coming down, you know? But we hanging out we f and we, we warm together, you know? It's all relative. Me, you, the stars, you know? Oh my god. That's so beautiful. <laughs> Damn, dude. Maybe I'm just too, uh... I'm just not white enough, dude. You know what I mean? I'm just not... I'm just not white and female enough to be like, Oh my god. The stars are so... Oh my god. You know what I mean? It's still nice. You know, I, I recognize it. You know what I mean? But it's totally like that postcard look, right? But that, you know what, dude? If that's, if that's your grift, you know? If that's your thing, and you, you know? You do it well, that's all really counts, right? You know what, dude? Pascal does a really good job. Because his color choice is on point, you know? His uh, subject matter. He knows he knows his audience. And uh, he knows his style. He knows what he likes, dude. And, and 
God damn it, dude, if it doesn't work, right? Wow. I love this, like, inter this counterplay between this, like, blue and this yellow-orange right here, right? That's beautiful. That's a ghoul. That's a gorgeous. Fuck him. I don't need him and his drama. Better off my own. Always have been. Damn, dude. There you go. See, dude. It's that white girl art, dude. I never needed him. I, uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah, see, girls do that. And then, like, it becomes, re like, repressed baggage later. You know what I mean? Like, like, dude, just, just allow yourself to, like, to, to, to be sad, you know? Like, why you gotta be like, fuck him. You know, like, it's like, it's like, why? Why I'll, why do all that? Just be like, damn, dude, it sucks that he's gone now, you know? Like, I feel like guys, like, they're, they're more like that. And they really feel it. Like they, f I feel like after a breakup, like guys feel it way harder, right? And but then like afterwards, they're like, you know, like they, they're like, they're like, okay, I feel better now, you know. And like they can recover. Or girls, like they'll just like, there's like, well, I never loved him. I never, <laughs> you know. And then they repress it so that it becomes a problem for the next relationship. It's I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't get it, dude. <clears throat> locals only yeah it's like the for the only for the affluent you know this is our private beach me and and charles you know that's a cute scene though it, it, it is cute you know i'll give it that it's cute i could get used to that damn Just hang, hanging on the hotel. Oh, look at the little, little doggy, right? Damn, dude. That's that rich white life, man. You know? Always relaxing, always chillaxing, dude. Mom and I were shopping for Max's birthday when all of a sudden, <gasps> taken by the wind, dude. There she goes. Goodbye, Sally. Looks like she won't be in Kansas anymore. Unlimited possibilities. Damn. What's out there in the stars, dude? I used to do this a lot. Just, you know, go out at, at night, you know, into my backyard and just, just gaze up there, dude. Who knows what's out there, man? <clears throat> Sonder. A man and his pup and a cat and his and a woman and a cat, you know. Yeah, very um I guess typical. I don't know, dude. I feel like it would have been better if the if the guy had the cat and the girl had the had the dog, you know what I mean? Then there's then there's the counterplay, you know what I mean? Instead of like boys and dogs, girls and cats, man, you know, I don't know. I don't know, man. Sick day. Oh no, we all sick. oh my god, my cats, dude. Every interruption possible, dude. Dude, this book has been a nightmare to review. I got angry cats. I got my dad who is like at home now. And it's, oh my God, dude. Oh my God. I feel like, I feel worse than these guys, dude. Yeah, I'm just like, always something getting in the way of my recording. Like this book is small, you know what I mean? And like, it's it should be like a slam dunk to review. You know what I mean? So I'm like, how am I gonna review these big ass books? They're like 500 pages. 
in a week. It's 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 a gonna it's it's a gonna be a nightmare. <clears throat> it's a oh my god, dude. So many interruptions, man. I don't know, man. Okay. Now, with the interruptions gone for maybe like five minutes, okay, let's let's see what we can do. All right. Again, so these sick days, right? This is cute, you know. Got all the the all the kids, you know, just like I'm not feeling so good, you know. It's cute. It's cute. It's it's wonderful. It's almost fall again. You got those nice orange leaves, you know what I mean? This this uh, nine window thing, or I guess I guess six window, reminds me of um, you know Watchmen, the the you know the, the the not the movie the graphic novel where it's like it's like nine panels just like chuk, 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 in like that kind of perfect sequence right reminds me of that tougher than the rest yeah this day's been tougher than the rest dude like oh my god dude just want to record man just want some some quiet dude but there's always like something like a neighbor who's like hammering shit you know fuck my life dude and then i just see all this like cute imagery and like be like oh my god you know on top of it it's just it's annoying dude it's annoying dude but we trudge on okay because this is my last day to record let's see i like you know i honestly i like this image right I like the counterplay between this, you know, like kind of greenish blue aquamarine, and then you have the the light of the like this window right here coming down, you know, to add that nice yellow. That's beautiful. That's wonderful. That feeling. That feeling when you're crossing in the middle of the street and you're just like, you know what, dude, I'm gonna look up. I guess maybe he's at the at the at the weight, you know what I mean? But from here, it kind of looks like because of there's like this thing right here, it looks like uh, part of the walkway. <gasps> They're back! All the fireflies. Oh, that's cute. And then you have this nice like counterplay between the the juxtaposition of the the lights of the fireflies and the stars in the sky. And then the flowers, you know, just dots everywhere. That's that's something that I learned about from, like, I learned from Pedro. It's, uh, not Pedro Pascal. It's, a uh, Pascal Camillon. Is that, hey, dude, you can put an infinite amount of dots and it'll still look okay. You know, you could put, like, a stupid amount of dots and it'll be all right. Okay? That's what I learned from, from looking at his art. There is no too much, okay? There's, it, you, you could put, you could just add more because it, it just becomes like a pattern, you know? Okay. Raindrops. I'm not sad. I just like watching the rain fall slowly. <laughs> How does the rain fall slowly? Or is it? Or is it like I like? He just likes to stare at it for a long time. Yeah. Street dwellers. You know, this kind of reminds me of a uh, of Florence a little bit. A Firenze. Yeah, because of the this like. The number right here. I don't know. It's like they, they have like this kind of like blue numbered street thing. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Way off Broadway. Oh, we have this jazz player who's like playing in the middle of the street. Eh, 
And I gotta practice in this alleyway where everyone can hear me, you know? I guess what really matters is if he's good or not, you know? White cat, black cat, where are they? That's cool. Um, again, like a corner composition, right? I, I don't know. I, I like it. There, there, there needs to be more corner compositions because a lot of times people are like, no, dude, I gotta be right here in the third. It's like, no, dude, fuck that. Right? Sometimes, dude, like, right even, like, even, like, right here, dude. Okay? But I like, I like the L composition, right? Always one of my favorites. I skip a page now. Desserts. And you want dessert? What's for dessert? Um, a little bit of smooching, a little bit of me and you, a little bit of fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tiny, tiny bit of fuck, dude. <laughs> okay, a little cleaning, a little dancing, a little fuck. <laughs> Uh, and a lot of love. Okay, that's cute. Again, very whimsical. You know, very like... Oh my god, dude. The idyllic life. Okay. What are you? I'm a duck. A duck, what do you do? I like to swim, eat... And I love my mama. Oh, me too. I'm a duck too. I've never been a duck like you. Or I've never... I've never a duck like you. I've never seen seen one... Oh my god, dude. Mistakes. Gra grammatical mistakes. I've never seen one like you either. Man, you're right. Friends forever. Oh my god, dude. I'm, I, I'm getting... I'm... It's too much, dude. Can a bear and a duck be friends? You know, as uh, I don't know. I'm 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 getting a sugar overload at this point. At this point, at this point, dude. Off the grid. Yeah, just fuck everyone, dude. Just I'm gonna be in this in this swamp by myself, dude. Dude, especially like now, like dude, can like being off the grid. In the 2020s, dude, that must be the fucking life, dude. You know what I mean? Just like, just fuck all this, dude. Fuck all this noise. All this bullshit, dude. I'm out. I'm out of here. Tandem in the park. Okay. This image is very, uh, blurry. I guess he was trying out a new brush. Or it could just be like a, a, a bad print. Slowing down. Oh, this is... Oh, dude, I really like the colors here. Got this nice blue, uh, green, yellow scheme. That's cute. That's nice. Let's see. You never know what adventure will come. You never know when an adventure will come, but it's usually better when it comes on a gloomy evening and involves friends, pirates, and mysterious islands, dude. Can you just imagine the Karen just looking at this and like, wow, this is, this is perfect, dude. This has so much meaning in it, you know? Damn. Procrastination 2017. Honey, are you ready? Almost. Just five more minutes. But she... But she didn't. She's lost in her own little world, dude. This is cute. I, I, I do like the underwater ones. You know what I mean? This, it's, that's a little bit more relatable to me. Because I, I enjoy the... I enjoy the sea. Christmas with the Gronks. Or 
or whatever it is. Very, very cute. Very wholesome, very nice. And on the outside of, uh, I guess, that same building, we have some, uh, sorry, the, the garbage truck is here to, uh, to ruin my recording, but that's okay, because we're just gonna push forward, man, because I'm about to be finished. Okay, just a, just a little, little cabin in the woods, you know, nothing bad happens there. Oh, the pleasures of, oh. Let's grow old together. Okay. It's the, it's the up, dude. Okay, the up, the up theme plays right now, dude. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we done. Okay, oh, there's no back, all right? So, uh, let's put this, let me show you the side view, which has nothing, you know. Again, this is one of his early books, so there's not really much to the print, okay? And now let's enter the review portion. All right, guys, let us enter the review portion for Halfway There by Pascal Campignon, okay? Um, you know, despite my sour pussin, you know, by, by external events, you know, outside of the art book, um, this is a great little art book, man. You know, I got it for, I think, 15, 20 bucks on Stuart NG. Um, great little book, you know, a, a little, a great insight to Pascal's early work um i really enjoyed it you know uh it's really cute it's got some nice imagery it's really on point it's got this nice looseness to it so you know it's not like you know say what you want it's enjoyable right um you know again you know i was I, i've been dealing with a lot of bullshit you know just out externally from this art book so but besides that this book is great man okay um, if you have a chance to pick it up, you know, you'll probably find it on Stuart NG for pretty cheap. Um, I don't know if you could find it anywhere else, but, um, yeah, dude, if you, if you don't know about Pascal Campignon, dude, his art, his artwork, fantastic, dude, his finish really good, you know, uh, check him out, you know, he's pretty popular already, so, you know, um, you've probably seen his work somewhere, but yeah, dude, um, I think with that, we can end the video here, guys, please, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Check out my prints and Patreon if you want to support the channel. Uh, consider becoming a channel member. All that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.